morning everyone it's the 30th of june 2024 i'm probably just going to do a couple small things today sunday depending on time um, i'm going to start to uh, do a little more work in my air conditioning system nothing major i um, have the tape now laying right here cj pony parts is where i got it from stuff's expensive um, so looking at my videos from last year before i tore the car all apart i was reminded that the only part that needs to be wrapped is right here all the way to about this point from down here this part does not get wrapped even though it does get cold this is what i saw was wrapped so that's all i'm planning on wrapping i'm not sure how i'm going to do that exactly with this uh, one option is to roll it out and and uh, just cut a long piece and then just kind of wrap it around longitudinally along the uh, the length of the pipe. That seems to be how the original one was put on there. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work here because it's not enough to reach all the way around that. So I'm probably going to have to go this way, just strips at a time, I guess. I don't think I have enough room to just do it in a continuous loop. So I have to play with that a little bit. The other thing I noticed too is uh, yesterday I was concerned that maybe there was something wrong with the air conditioning control because I had it turned all the way down temperature wise low button but the fan speed seemed pretty high but I discovered this morning playing with it after driving it to the store this morning that if I raised the temperature this fan speed immediately slowed down so I guess it was actually working just like it was supposed to. Now we'll see how this goes. All right the first strip is already on that's actually pretty easy to work with I've never worked with it before but I just kind of guesstimated how much I needed and it peels right off very easily. You don't have to cut it with scissors or anything and just you just wrap it around and it sticks to itself. So that seems uh, really super simple to apply. So I'm just going to keep working my way down until I'm done. All right, I didn't really have as much on here as I thought I did. That stuff uh, goes fast. I barely had enough to get around what I consider the minimum uh, amount of the piping, but I did manage to get the probe completely enclosed with the expansion valve and all down here where it was covered before. I wanted to get a little bit further down here, but didn't have enough left over to do that. But that's okay. I think this this is going to be fine. So that's that for that step. I'm hoping I'll have time sometime today to pull that right rear wheel off so I can uh, figure out what's going on there still. So I'm sitting here looking at my uh, my brakes, you know, all around. Everything looks fine. Um, I really don't see any visual problems. Everything looks great. It's obvious that the, uh, the brakes are functioning. There's plenty of brake dust here. You can see there was plenty of brake dust there on the ground. When I took the drum off, the drum itself looks fine. Uh, maybe I had another cracked drum, but uh, there's no indication that this drum is cracked or has any issues with it. So I'm just looking and I'm looking and I just it, everything looks fine. So I really don't get it. So what I did, I went back to my original success where I ran my victory lap around the car a couple of weeks ago and discovered that the parking brake cable is not as loose as I thought it was. It's still got some tension on it, which I was surprised because I, was, I could have sworn I loosened it a lot, you know, the last time when I had my initial uh, success. So. Since there's still some tension on it, surprisingly, unexpectedly, I'm going to uh, loosen the nut on that adjuster underneath the car. You know, right, right where the transmission uh, output shaft is. You can't really see it from this angle, but anyway, I'm going to loosen that some more and make sure it's really loose, and then uh, do some more driving and see how it sounds. The only other thing I can think of, there's a couple things I can think of. Jeff Smith had told me how much trouble he had with one of his old early 60s Lincolns and he ended up putting his original springs back in place instead of using the new ones that he had. The only other thing I can think of is that maybe these springs just aren't strong enough or something to force the, uh, the pistons back inside the wheel cylinder after you take your foot off the brake. I don't know. Uh, I hope it's nothing like that because I didn't save my old springs. Threw them away. But anyway. Um, I'm going to try loosening the parking brake cable some more and then take it for a spin and see how she does after that. Alright, I've uh, gotten back from a fair amount of driving now. I wanted to give it a good workout. The air conditioning is running right now. It sounds really good. Nice and cold here. I wanted to see what it looked like too with that uh, insulation wrapped around the um, pipe here. and It looks really good. No more sweating. It's all contained in there. And I noticed when I had the car parked earlier, there was a nice puddle of water underneath the car that you would expect from a 
working air conditioning system, so at least I know that drain is working, that condensate drain or whatever it's called. Um, but the big thing I noticed was that um, while I was driving, now I don't remember if I mentioned this or not earlier, but I completely disconnected the parking brake cable. I totally disconnected it, and I used some zip ties to tie the uh, end of it up so it didn't drag on the ground or grab or anything. And I drove it at 15 miles, 60 miles an hour, came back into town where you could always hear the noise coming from the rear end at that point. Dead silence, not a peep coming from the rear end. All the windows open, turned off the air conditioner, so all I would hear is outside noises. Not a peep, completely quiet. So for whatever reason, and it was always just from the, uh, the right rear of the car. I don't know why it was always that one and not the left one that was making the noise, but so I'm just going to live with it like this for a while. I mean, yeah, maybe it's not safe to be running around without a parking brake or a emergency brake, but um, for now I'm just going to live with it because it's it's nice this way. The brakes, when you step on them, they're not pulsating hardly at all. They wouldn't pulsate at all if I hadn't messed them up at first when I first started driving the car. But uh, so I'm 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 very satisfied right now. In the next couple of days, I expect to get. Um, my cruise control servo on Tuesday and then Monday I expect to have my uh, um, oh shoot I had oh my mirror bracket that I need desperately so that so was a good day mostly just test driving but you know I did a couple minor things so I'm, I'm pleased things are looking good so I figured I might as well do my due diligence and check all the fluid levels so I put a little bit more on the power steering reservoir I popped off the lid to the master cylinder and I was surprised really surprised to see the rear brake portion of the dual master cylinder over full. It was all the way to the top and a little bit spilled over when I got the cover off. So I can only surmise that the reason that happened is because of that parking brake cable wasn't allowing the springs to fully return the brake shoes. And when I completely disconnected it, or this might even have happened a couple of weeks ago, I never checked it then, um, it probably allowed the, uh, the shoes to fully retract which forced more fluid back into the master cylinder. So I'm just going to soak up a little bit of that excess fluid and put the cap back on. I just found that interesting. All right, I just wanted to wrap up the video here. The last thing I did uh, was check my records inside on my computer. Uh, I was curious how many miles I put on the car since I started driving. And it's almost 1,000 miles now, a little over 900. And it's hardly used any oil at all, which is a good sign. I'm very glad to see that. I'm uh, keeping a close eye on the transmission fluid level, but I already know that's an issue. I'll deal with that in the future. But anyway, it was a good day, and uh, I'm, I'm uh, really, really enjoying the car right now. Have a good evening.